In the past, sales officers and revenue officers have tried to get salespeople to do everything. They're making cold calls, they're setting appointments, they're running appointments, they're following through, they're closing sales, they're trying to build relationships. It's too much. And so the challenge is, can you segment in such a way that the salesperson is enhanced rather than something is taken away from them? And I'm gonna give you an example. If you can set me a qualified lead that I can run, it's gonna save me a lot of time because I don't have to prospect and make a cold call. But after I make a sale, don't take that customer away from me and not allow me to build a relationship and get a referral. You can, you can have somebody else deliver stuff. You can have a, a driver or a route person come in and out, but that's still my customer. And I wanna live with them take care of their stuff, take care of their service needs and establish a relationship that will give me a referral. Because if you're, for example, in a manufacturing place and you're, you're dealing with a uniform or a cleaning service, they all have a neighbor and they all know the neighbor. They maybe have known that neighbor for 10 or 20 years and it's a luncheon date, a referral and a sale. Yep. Not hunt and farm. Build relationship. That's the, that is the answer. So you can set me a lead. I'll be very appreciative of it. I'll work that lead. There's no such thing as a bad lead, only a bad sales guy. If the, if the lead is qualified, if you've asked that person the right questions and you give me the, the file in my CRM, I'm going to know exactly what to do. I'm going to do my research. I'm going to get an idea before I, before I make the call. I'm going to go make the call and have a higher percentage of selling that person, especially if I have a good pipeline. But when I complete that sale, leave me with the customer. Yep. Delegate some of the things that are, that are mundane, but let me, like, I want another guy to service it, but let me take the service call. Exactly. Let me help that customer and let them feel that I'm there to serve them because after you sold them, I suppose you had a heart operation, Brian, and the guy operates on you for a long, long time, and then he's gone. And a new doctor comes in and starts reading your chart like, what are you doing? <laughs> well, you know, doctor's a little busy right now and he's told me to come in and take a look. What? No, you're the person that operated on me and took out my wallet. You know, I, I, you, you, you've done the walletectomy on me. S stay with me. Pretend you like me. Pat me on the head. Tell me I'm pretty. And that's where the world of sales falls down. They don't let the salesperson make the deep sale. They want them to make the superficial sale of sell and run.